He did that like it was nothing. Yeah, nah, smoking, a, smoking a cigarette that was dipped in formaldehyde. And that blows my mind. Like when people talk about that, I'll be like, man, you talking about smoking frying doing Dog, this? This is This wild. is the funniest story in the world. If I'm lying, call call D Shot. I had all of the accounts. So the, the street reps would come deal with me because the regionals would come say, hey, man, give my artists a second round. Because the regionals at that time, they work radio. But the artists, I had street artists. I had D Shot. People give 40 the credit for the out of the trunk, but you really got to give it to D Shot. But D Shot went to jail. 40 amplified it. It's just how it happens. I had D Shot down here. He had a, a record called True Worldwide Players. Screw loved that record. So I took D Shot over to Screw House. This was at the house. Before Sugarland, but at the house house. Where that, With the know. wood room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Shot was like, I want to go, I'm, I'm go see, DJ, I'm go see uh, DJ Screw. Now, mind you, Shot 6'5", swole up. His voice is in, in soprano. Hey, hey, homie, let's, let's go over there. Let's go over there and go see Cuddy. Let's go, let's go see him. I said, all right, shot. we going over there. I said, now, Screw's a different character, homie. Now, by this time, me and Screw was cool because I worked all of the records. All of that money he was paying in sound waves, he had to do that no more. I gave it Screw. You bringing him the, you bringing man, the joints. I, I ain't get the records, man. He used to lie, and I'll tell you how I found out he was lying about them records. <laughs> so we go, we take D-Shot over to Screw House. <laughs> and uh, he was like, hey, yeah, yeah, uh, Cuddy, uh, well respected on the West. We know you love Sebo. Can you, can you show me what you get down here, homie? Can you show me? Joey, Screw said, man, no question, I got you. So he going there, he crank up the turntables. So I was like, why are all these tape decks here? He said, this is where I do my duplication. So, so you manufacture? Yeah, that's what you call it. This is before he started going to the people on the Southwest and doing the tapes. When they was white, they were still gray at that time. So Screw got the going at it. He was going in. He was mixing, man, he was doing everything West Coast to show shot what it was. All of a sudden, he put out that, that stick. Shots eyes got big. He's like, oh, you know, cool. You know, he's a bay dude. He, screw going at it. So he's spinning. And Screw get to a point where it's just instrumental playing him banging. He blowing on this damn cigarette. Cigarette wet as hell. You want some? Oh, I'll pass on me. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. So we cool. So Shots like, well, man, let's, you know, we got other runs. We're getting ready to get out of here, Cuddy. Be careful. I showed him a pound. Screw gave him some tape. Shot tried to pain. Of course, he wouldn't let him. So he walking out to the car. Screw had a big ass front yard, and the yard kind of had a grade to it. It kind of like went down. He said, "No, can I ask you a question?" I was like, "Yeah." He said, "What? What the fuck, is Screw doing? What does he, he do? Pick up a house? That, that's Sherm. He's smoking. That's Sherm. Because we call it, on the West Coast, we call it wet Sherm." Right, right, right. He was right. like, "What are you gonna do? Pick up a house? Turn over a car?" He said, "Man, get your cutty. Man, that shit's, shit's terrible." Oh man, I'm talking about shot had me dying. And, see, and that was the thing man. because you know, from my understanding, is that Screw was smoking and it wouldn't really be like a. It's just like he's anything not tripping else. out. He's not getting. He's not tripping out doing crazy all that. Nah, about. he he just mellowed out and he got the. I'm gonna be honest with you. It was. It was a gift enhancer for him. He got better on the turntables when he was towed. Hmm. But one day at the DMD video shoot for Twenty Five Lighters, I was so mad at Screw and Tommy Langston mixed with his uh, record pool. He was Screw's manager at the time. We had the 25 Lighters sh video shoot. I'm in there for about 1.9 seconds. Screw was eating. Mid-stroke. Sleep. I said, Tommy, we got to help him. Hmm. Friends tell you what you need to know, not what you want to hear. Bro, that hurt me, man, because everybody around him wasn't saying nothing. Yeah. Oh, man, he going to do what he going to do, lump. Bro, and I guess you're right because at the end of the day, after he died, then when Mo died, first Big Mello had died. You know what I'm saying? It's like, bro, like. But Big Mello's Big Mello's thing wasn't related. It was just a car wreck. It was right? just a car wreck. But yeah. you, when you're speeding, coming off the 610, you're going around there like you know how you get to 610, you exit uh, uh Stella Link, yeah, and you're driving down, and mm -hmm. the big ass poles, the mm -hmm. columns that hold up the freeway, they flying down, man, and they boom ran into it. That's a horrible death, dog. That burn mark's still on that pole. Damn. Yeah. You can't, bro. You you only get one body, man. It ain't like you got a spare one in the closet. I'm 50 years old, man. It's like, I thank God I don't look like what I've been through or what I've gone through, you know, and I didn't really, I really wasn't a drinker, you know, because I always like to maintain that. But with artistry, some artists need that. I, well, psychologically they do, but do they really physically need it? But then it becomes a need because your body turns on to it because now it's an addiction. You know, we saw Ray Charles. It's nothing new. 
It's just what it is, man. It's just that some people have enough money to go get corrected. Some people have enough people in their corner to get it corrected. And then some people have enough money to go high. But most of us have enough money to keep doing it. That's like, I don't understand the culture right now. I love the way these dudes get money. But y'all teaching us how to be, like, people talk about the zombie apocalypse. Y'all are zombies, dog. Like, hmm. who takes who takes pills and tabs like that? Why is this boy so scary where he didn't took all of these pills and he didn't died on the plant? Like, homie, like, yeah. how many more examples do you need? But when your big homies don't tell you something, or if y'all not listening to the big homies, and some of them don't want to listen, because some of the big homies is really on some bull corn and they ain't did nothing with their life and they trying to drag. I get that. But the cats who are successful and who have done it, even the cats who have failed, you still can learn, like, but maybe was I it, need to do that. But was it ever anybody around school like that? Because it yeah. seems like a lot of that kind of was just culture. Like, everybody was smoking fry. Just everybody it was, was sipping drink. Just because it was culture, was... that don't make it right. But when you No, it don't make it right, of course. But I'm saying, was he ever surrounded with anybody to be, to be that wasn't in that enough to be like, hey, man, you know, let's... A couple of... I mean, I did. I can't... Yeah. I can't I, you know what? It's very inconsiderate and dismissive and very, very bogus for me to talk about what other people did and didn't do. Yeah. All I can say is, I wasn't around a lot when he was around a lot of them other ones. He was around cats, and I ain't talking about SUC members. I'm just talking about period, like people who were around him that 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 I just thought that weren't, you know. Was it more like street cats or just? I, I, I'm everybody, street yeah. cats. Some cats were affiliated with the clique. Some cats in the clique. Like, man, you know, he just gonna do. Okay, I can't be complicit. The Bible says, "How can two be? To, how can two agree? How can two walk together unless they be agreed?" I'm not doing that, man. If I told you how I felt. And you still keep doing it. I love you, man. My love is actually going to grow stronger from you because I'm not going to see you that much. But, bro, what I'm not getting ready to do is watch you put this gun in your head and blow and pull the trigger. Because eventually, man, you're going to keep rolling the dice and eventually you're going to crap out. Yeah. Yeah. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston.